One of the things that journaling does for us, it helps us improve our memory because it allows us to understand ourselves better. We can chronicle our life events, our thoughts and our feelings. It becomes the history book of our own self-development and personal growth. Well, I think it's time. Yeah, thank you. Really good advice. And it is important for us to think about our words because they are, well, we say a lot to ourselves, don't we? During one day, we say a lot to ourselves. So I think it's time to play flip the book. So would you like to pick book one, two or three? Oh, I think three is a lovely number. So let's go for three. Okay, you've got the the big book, your insight and awareness book. So you've got one to 430 pages to pick from. One to 430 pages. Uh, okay, let's go with my other numbers, 369. 369. The numbers of the universe. Well, you've got six paragraphs to pick from. Oh, six you paragraphs. Six. six paragraphs to pick from. Uh, let's go number three. Three. Okay. So your soul denial is the crux of your soul's unconsciousness. So that's the real pit stuff. You know, those really embedded beliefs that we've got right. that cause us to forget who we actually are at, at the essence of who we are. Your soul denial is the crux of your soul's unconsciousness and is the storehouse of your beliefs and fears that create your misconceptions. These misconceptions cause you to anchor to the illusion of control, believing you can create security for yourself within the security of your soul's unconsciousness. Your soul's unconsciousness is built on a foundation of misconceptions. How can you feel secure within misconceptions? The version of security you seek is a falsity. It is unachievable because you are attempting to find security in denying the truth of yourself. It is a fallacy because to separate from your awareness of truth is to defend the deception generating your fears which secure your insecurity. You cannot create security while protecting your deception. What does that paragraph make you think of? Well, I tell you, it's it's very interesting because I've spent most of my life in denial who I am. Um, and we spoke earlier about working from the heart center and being free, being your authentic, true, authentic self. And this is a reminder to me and hopefully to everyone else to be your authentic self. Don't live in denial. Don't live in the eyes of someone else. To live your life without fear, to, to, to do things, not worrying about what anyone thinks of you. Because there'll always be people that like you and dislike you, no matter what you do. And when you be your authentic self, you release so much more of that soul energy. You get so much more courage. And you become fearless. And, you know, people then see you in a different way. And the troubles that you may have had, people picking on you, seeing you as weak, suddenly stop. This is because you're no longer in denial. You're working from the heart centre. And it takes courage. But it is it the does. truth. And I can testify to this because for many years growing up, I lived my life through other people's eyes. For many years, people didn't know I was a medium. For many years, I did things to please other people just for the sake of pleasing them. When It's okay to say no sometimes. Yeah. And this is mastery. It's something you have to learn. And you can yeah. do it with one small step at a time. So thank you for reminding me of my journey brilliant oh that's brilliant we love that so i want to thank you i've enjoyed the conversation likewise thank you very yeah. much insight and awareness spiritual explorer soul intuitive emotional and spiritual mentor and award-winning author lorraine nylon